Hey everybody, Steve here, and today in this video, we're closing out 2023, and it's here in Korea, it's the 31st of December, so tomorrow's going to be 2024, so I kind of wanted to go over what I have done, and part of that includes getting into 3D printing. So, since I've never 3D printed anything, I thought I'd go big or go home, and that's why I ended up getting the Saturn III Ultra which has been really good. And currently I've been using some water washable resin and some prints have been coming out kind of good. So of course the white doesn't do it justice, but you can see some of the details on there, but yeah, some free prints and it, it turns out pretty good. You know, I got some good details on this. I'm gonna hang that once I paint it, just doing some final, final gluing. And along with that, we had the wash and the cure station here. And again, water washable, so we're doing that. Um, got the nice desk with a little plastic on there to protect the desk. A little silicone mat, you know, got the uh, little silicone spatula. And then, of course, the stuff to scrape the prints off of your build plate. So other than that, yeah, we got that. And then we've got the paint station, which has a couple of different areas. The first area here is the paint booth for our airbrush. And I decided to get into airbrushing. Cheap little airbrush uh, off of Amazon when we were back in the States on vacation on Oahu. It was like 30 bucks. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get something a little bit better. Matter of fact... I ordered a, what is it, Harder Sternberger H&S uh, Ultra 2024. So we're going into 2024 with a 2024 airbrush, and I'm really looking forward to that. Here is some prints. And uh, yeah, it's so easy to print a ton of stuff and get backlogged with painting. But yeah, you can see some of the, uh, some of the details here. Is just kind of amazing on these prints. And again, it's all water washable resin. You know, of course, when you prime them up, they definitely look a lot better. And yeah, the details are just kind of crazy. So, you know, we've got some other guys that we end up printing out. We got some of the bigger dudes and upsized some of these. So you can see we got those guys there. We got the captain over there. We've got another guy over here. Details came out really good, except on a couple of different items. But uh, for the most part, learning how to do supports. And then, of course, we had the Merc with a Mouth who was pre-supported. And he came out really, really good. And again, printing out at 50 microns, if I didn't mention that. So we definitely have a lot to do in regards to printing. Coming over here, we have more printing and more painting. This is more of the paint station. So we've got this guy here, and this guy, I ended up blowing him up and kind of working on him. You can see the details there. And it takes a lot, but, you know, not too bad in regards to you know, never painting miniatures before. I think the last time I painted something before I got into this, which was this year, not too many months ago, uh, was back when I was maybe 10 or 11. So that's like 47 years or something. It's been a while. Um, but yeah. And then we have, you know, the old man Logan. He turned out pretty good. We also have the Predator dude that turned out just crazy. I mean, the details on this guy are just insane. And again, all this is printed out at 50 microns. So, yeah, just, just amazed. And then, of course, nothing, you know, an airbrush definitely helps in that aspect. Some other 3D printing. And all of these are free prints. So, yeah, this one I was really amazed on how well that this turned out. I mean, the cape on this almost looked translucent. But yeah, you can see some of the details there. And it's just insane. I could probably tweak it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, these turned out really good. Now, these guys over here, these are official Warhammer dudes. 
So these are actually the first guys that I got. This is, that's number two, the very the second one that I painted and just kind of watching a ton of videos and you can see some of the details and how I grimed them up. Put some details on there. Yeah, it's not bad for a first time or a second time. I think that came out kind of good. Where's the, let's see, what is that? That's, that's the third one. That's fourth. This is the very first one that I did. So not bad for a first time. I kind of like the grimy look and the warm look on there. So I think that was accomplished, but there's definitely, you know, you can see some things that had needed help, like with the decals. And of course, now I got some decal stuff, but uh, yeah, and then we're going to matte black or mat all these up with Vallejo matte uh, varnish. So we're gonna finish up all these guys and then we're gonna finish up this guy. So it's kind of a, a tie between these two and then I have those and I have all those over there to, <laughs> to paint. So yeah, I definitely have uh, my hands full. So anyway, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show off my newest hobby of 3D printing with resin printer and this is kind of the setup I have. Obviously, need to get some pictures on the wall and things like that, but that's what we got going on. So anyway, hey, that's it. And uh, I'd like to see what you all have for your printing areas and your hobby areas. That I think that'd be interesting to see. Uh, so yeah, post those. And if you do, great. If not, any tips or suggestions uh, coming into this? And just starting out has been really fun and interesting, but uh, yeah, it's been good. So hopefully everybody will have a good year and they will have some good prints and some good painting and have some fun and kind of get away from the craziness of the world and enjoy yourself. So with that said, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Peace.